What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Chud's Barbecue. My name is Bradley Robinson and today I'm going to show you how I made this. Beautiful, delicious, smoky, cheesy, gooey, amazing smoked chicken chimichangas. Coming up! This is a chicken. Pat it dry. And what I got here is a pretty normal chicken weighing in right about five pounds. Picked this up at my local grocery store. Anything in there? Don't think so. But really, you can use whatever kind of chicken you like. Because today we're making chicken chimichangas. So you could get some skin on thighs, some boneless thighs, breast meat, or you could just pick up a rotisserie chicken. You know, we're trying to get some shredded chicken at the end of the day here. So I think I'm gonna keep it pretty simple today and give this thing a good old fashioned spatchcock, which simply means I'm gonna just go right down the backside here. You could remove that backbone, or you can just Trying to leave it in there, which is what I'm gonna do. Really trying to make this easy. And then we can throw it on the pit, nice and flat like that, and it'll cook a little bit more evenly and a little bit quicker. And we're gonna tuck these wing tips for a better presentation. And now what we gotta do is throw some rub on this thing. So flipping it over, and we're gonna go on with some good old fashioned Chud's Barbecue SPG. Love a good SPG chicken. It's been a long time since I've done an SPG chicken, because ever since that snake bite came out, that's been my go-to. But today we're gonna go with some SPG. Just a nice even coating. Really, it doesn't matter because we're going to shred this up and mix it with a sauce and season it to taste at the end. But might as well start building those layers of flavor. Flip it over. And we'll do the top as well. And of course, folks, we're not going to forget the sides because that would be a rookie move. And I'm also going to do something which I haven't done in probably a couple of years, believe it or not. And uh, I'm going to throw this on the offset. Again, the old snake bite and chud box chicken has really been my go-to because I think it is superior. But again, it's been a while since I fired up the old offset for a chicken. That's kind of what I'm in the mood for today. Add a little more smoky wood flavor to our chimichangas. And that is looking pretty much perfect to me. Let's fire up the pit. Oh. There is in fact a snake in my boot. And on the pit we go. Got a nice post oak fire fired up here. And we're gonna put this guy a little bit closer than we normally would put a brisket or something. Breast meat towards the fire, just like that. And I'm probably gonna do a pretty hot and fast cook on this guy, around 300, 325. Just get some nice crispy skin, nice juicy chicken meat, and get a little bit of smoke on there. So we'll check back in on this in a little bit. Next up, let's go ahead and bust out our flour tortillas. Starting by going in with some bread flour, some kosher salt, and some baking powder. And go ahead and get that mixed up a little bit. Next up, some Wagyu beef tallow. And get that cut in. And last, we'll stream in some warm water. And once the dough is formed, we'll let that knead in here for just a minute or two. Beautiful, once it's pulling away from the sides of the bowl here, nice and cleanly, out it comes. Boop. And now that we have a nice supple dough ball, we're gonna weigh these out into 150 gram portions for our jumbo tortillas. Nailed it. Did not nail it. And then as always, we're gonna take all the seams and fold them to the underside, giving us a nice taut surface like that. And then give it the old table roll to make it nice and round and nice and tight. Beautiful. And now that all of our dough balls are rolled out, I'm gonna rest these under a damp, clean kitchen towel for the next probably hour or so. I would put them in my tortilla warmer, but I left that at the chud shop. So this will work just fine. Next up, let's get some beans cooking for our eventual refried beans. Starting, we went into this pot with some pinto beans. I soaked these overnight to speed up the cooking process a little bit. And just top those with some water. 
And now we're just gonna bring these up to a boil and let them cook away until they're feeling nice and soft. Next up, back to the old food processor here. We're gonna make a really quick salsa. So into the food processor, I'm gonna go in with some Roma tomatoes, cube these up, took all the gooey seeds out. To that, I'm gonna add some diced up onion, some cilantro, some of our garlic, some jalapenos, lime juice, and a nice big fat pinch of salt. And just pulse that together. And just like that, this is good. I just tasted it. And honestly, it's really good. I just kind of eyeballed those ingredients, but you can dial it in to however spicy or limey or tomatoey you want this to be. But pretty happy with this. Beautiful. Next up, some guacamole. So to these avocados, I'm gonna go in with some diced up white onion, diced up jalapeno, a little bit of garlic, big fat pinch of cilantro, basically all the same exact things. Hit that with some salt, some oregano, some ancho powder, some cumin, and some lime juice. And just get that all mixed together, fold it up nice, nice, give it a taste and adjust. Beautiful. Up next, we're gonna make a sauce for our chicken. Starting with going into a pot with some ancho chilies and a few chili de arbol. I'm just gonna dry toast these for a minute to waken up their flavors. And after just a few seconds of toasting, we're gonna go in with some water. Pop a lid on that. And we're gonna let these steep for about 10 minutes to get nice and soft. Now into our blender, we're gonna add all our chilies. Beep. As well as a little bit of the liquid. But mostly for our liquid, I'm gonna go in with some homemade smoked chicken bone stock. That should add a lot of body and a lot of really good flavor. And I was gonna go in with all the veg we just chopped up, some jalapeno, some onion, cilantro, all that stuff. But I figure, might as well just add some of this chunky salsa. Yeah, probably should have put this in before the liquid. As always, big fat pinch of salt. And to drive home the flavor profiles, we'll go in with some cumin, some oregano, and most of the color, a little paprika. And get that blitzed up. Beautiful. Give that a little taste. Oh, that's good. A little bit of heat. Ooh, those arbles. Kind of like a barbecue sauce, kind of like a taco sauce of sorts. I think this is gonna be really good on our chicken. Back over at the pit, our chicken is done. And looking absolutely beautiful. Just a classic looking crispy skin. Offset smoked bird. I have a whole video about this. Pretty old if you want to check it out with a little more detail. Took about two and a half hours and everything's rocking right around 170 internal. Closer to 185 in the thighs. But now I'm gonna let this rest for a little bit because we need to check in on those beans. So to start things off, I'm going into this pot with a whole bunch of some pork lard. I suppose you could use tallow if you wanted, but lard is traditional. And we're just gonna let that melt down a little bit. And you wanna be super generous with the amount of lard going in. That's what makes refried beans so good. And once everything is nice and toasty, we'll go in with some onion and some of our diced up jalapeno as well. And once everything's cooked down a little bit, starting to take on some color, looking nice and translucent, I'm gonna go in with some garlic, as well as some cumin and some oregano. And we'll throw in a big fat pinch of salt at this point too, but we're gonna have to adjust this at the end anyway. And in this pot, our beans have been boiling for the last couple hours and they are nice and soft. I definitely overcooked them a little bit. You can tell because they're kind of blowing up a little bit, but that's kind of the point here anyway. So once they're pinching apart nice and tender, in we go. And you could strain these out first, but having a little bit of this liquid is gonna help thicken these up a little bit. And we're just gonna let these cook down a little bit, start trying to break them up. A potato masher comes in real handy for this because we gotta smash all these beans. And I'm also also periodically gonna start adding some more liquid until we get to the desired consistency. So at this point, they're all pretty much mashed, but it is super chunky. So to get them nice and smooth so they're spreadable, that's why we're gonna start adding this water little by little to dial it in. I want them nice and creamy. And just like that, these are starting to come together. I'm not getting a full puree on these. And if I wasn't putting these in a chimichanga and I was just serving them normally as a side dish, I'd probably hit these with a stick blender to get them really nice and smooth. But having some extra chunks in there, I think is gonna be just fine for today's application. And that's looking like a perfect consistency to me. So now we gotta give it a little taste. Wow, that's hot. And just a few final adjustment. Just a little pinch of salt for me. And these are done. All right, now I got this chud press fired up and it's time to bust out some big fat flour tortillas. Let's we'll start with the little guy just for fun. Ooh, taco squeal. First one's always a little dirty because I cook a lot of bacon and steaks on this thing. So that's why I started out with a small one. All right, now we're gonna go for the big boy. Trying to get a nice big 12 incher. <laughs> a lot of pressure for a tortilla this big. Ooh, oh, that's beautiful. Nice and thin, about as big as I could make it. All right, tortillas are done. Now I think it's finally time to pull this chicken, which is super easy. Rip these wings off. I'm gonna just go ahead and take this skin off, revealing a very juicy looking bird. Gotta love that. Nice, thin, crispy skin. Mm -hmm. But now I'm gonna go through, shred all this meat up. Ooh, a little oyster in there. Just feeling around for all the bones. Don't wanna bite into a bony chimichanga. 
Smells so good, nice and smoky. I really need to do more chickens on the offset. I mean, look how juicy that chicken breast looks underneath that tender. That is just lovely. You could chop this up with a knife if you feel like it, but I think it's pretty tender. So I'm just gonna get some nice shreddy texture that way. Just like that, big pile of shredded chicken. And you know I'm not forgetting about this skin over here. I'm just gonna run through that with a knife. And we'll add that to the mix. Not the crispiest skin in the world. I could have thrown that back on the pit or if I was on the direct pit, I could have thrown it back on to get nice and crispy. I've done that in previous chicken videos, but I think this is gonna work out just fine. And now we're gonna grab that sauce we made earlier and just drizzle it all over this. Ooh yeah, definitely made too much sauce. That's all right. Ooh, that smells good. Make sure you break up any big chunks you might've missed. Give it a taste for salt. This is starting to look real tasty. Beautiful. All right, let's roll these up. Beautiful looking flour tortilla here. We're gonna go down with a big spoonful of our refried beans. Kind of odd color on these. Every time I've made these in the past, they're more brown, but maybe it's the onions in there, I don't know. Just normal pinto beans. Beautiful. Next up, we'll go down with some of our chicken. And like every other time I've tried to wrap something in a tortilla, I really hope I don't make this too big. Well, that's why we made multiple tortillas. That looks pretty good. Now we'll go down with some Oaxaca cheese. Lots of cheese, folks. And some of our sharp cheddar. And believe it or not, that's it. So now we need to try and wrap this thing up burrito style. And because we're dropping these in the deep fryer, I need to do a really good job. Otherwise, we're gonna have a blowout. Tuck in the corners. Fold it all up and give it a roll. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, I was watching some videos that said if you bust out some flour and water, make a little slurry, you can paint this underside and kind of make a glue so it doesn't fall apart. Not sure if that's necessary or not, but hey, I already made it. All right, there we go. I gotta say, that's probably the best looking little burrito I've made on the channel so far. Love it. Make one more. Refried beans. Spread it out nice and thin, oh yeah. Layer of chicken. The Oaxaca will give it a really nice stretch, but that cheddar will bring home the flavor. That one might be too big. Tuck in the side, tuck in the side, and roll her up. Nice and tight. Paint on our glue and finish her off. Beautiful, that looks nice. But now we gotta drop these in the deep fryer. All right, got some beautiful chimichangas here. Now I'm gonna drop them into this deep fryer. Boop, and away we go. This is definitely the last day I'm gonna use this oil. It is rough. I was gonna clean it today, but all that veg chopping took longer than I expected. And after about, felt like five minutes, I'm just going by color here, but these are looking real good. So out they come. All right, let's plate up. I got some classic shredded lettuce. Make a little bit of that. Next up, we go down with our beautiful looking deep fried burrito here. That's a lovely looking chimichanga. I do say so. A little bit gigantic, but you know, gotta be done. Next up, I'm gonna do a nice drizzle of some Mexican a nice dollop of our guacamole, a little sprinkle of that salsa we made, a dusting of some cotija, and lastly, just a little bit more cilantro. And there it is, folks, the chutty chonga. And with this other one, let's just go ahead and get a nice cross section, shall we? Oh. oh, that looks so cool. So cheesy, so meaty. Love that texture. It's got a nice little crunch to the outside and uh, yeah, I'm ready to dive on in. I mean, what's not to like here, folks? Beautiful smoky chicken, a whole bunch of cheese and a Wagyu beef tallow deep fried tortilla covered in guac and ah, I'm ready. I gotta say folks, I'm super happy with how these look. I mean, just the color, the cheese, the goo. I mean, that really is a sight of beauty. Let's go for it. Oh, that's hot. Mm, that is phenomenal. So cheesy. Smoke comes through nice and gooey. Just the texture is so pleasant. You know, you got that shredded chicken with that crunchy yet somehow still soft tortilla. That is phenomenal. Definitely not as greasy as I was thinking it would be, you know? A flour tortilla deep fried seems like it would pick up a lot, but wow, that is just a phenomenal bite right there. Mm. Do a little dip dip into that guac. That'll cool it down a little bit. Yep. Ooh, yeah. A little more cheese never hurt anybody. <laughs> that is so good. It's meat, cheese, and it's deep fried. Like, how could it not be good? Ah, mm, those beans. And it's definitely really healthy too, right? Brooke, would you like to try a gigantic smoky chimichanga? Yeah, this is not what I thought a chimichanga. Lauren and I used to get the Taco Bueno ones and they were like, they were cannolis. Mm. <laughs> I did make one smaller one because I had one tiny tortilla left mm. and that one looked a little bit more reasonable. Yeah. But you know, it, it's gotta go big. It looks delicious though. Let's see it. Good Lord. Oh, so cheesy. Big bite of guac on there too. Spread it out like butter on toast. <laughs> I can't even put. I, there's no way. I, I'll get you a napkin, right? Oh, geez, I fell. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Nice and light. <laughs> health food. <laughs> It is good though. Yeah, the deep fried flour tortilla worked out really well. I love a deep fried flour tortilla. I love the color on it too. Mm -hmm. Nice and golden. It's really cool. You can see like the outer layer of the tortilla where it got double wrapped and then you still got a soft tortilla under it. So you kind of get both textures. Yeah, it's flaky. Mm. Ooh, that is a meal right there. I think half of one is a meal. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, Give me you're definitely going to need your bibs for this one. Mm -hmm. Or just let them cool down a little bit. That's a problem with these uh, wrapped vessels. Like whenever I make an egg roll or a burrito or something, mm -hmm. especially if it's full of molten cheese, it'll just stay hot for hours. Yeah, it's like the hot pocket effect. Hot pocket. Yum. Well, <laughs> I think that's the Red Robin. Yep. <laughs> And with this last bite, it is now time for the official taste test. Ow! The cool part about these is they hold up really well. Like that little glue trick works really well. So you could pop these in the freezer, thaw them out, chuck them in the deep fryer, get diarrhea for lunch. <laughs> the flavor on that chicken is really great. You know, that sauce adds a nice chili note, but it's definitely not too spicy and it's pretty subtle, but it just helps to moisten everything up. Not. Oh. Ooh, that's a good one. Caramel notes all day. All right, y'all, that is it. That is how to make some absolutely fantastic smoked chicken chimichangas. I highly recommend giving this one a try, you know? It's a really fun process. And if you don't make your own tortillas, it comes together pretty quickly. And I'm always happy to add a new chicken recipe to the book. But all that being said, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that subscribe button. Let YouTube know by dropping a like on this video. If you give this recipe a try for yourself, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Chud's Barbecue. I love to see what y'all are cooking. Big shout out to all the Patreon members. Thank you for supporting Team Chud and allowing me to keep making all these videos. And until the next time I see you, please go cook something outside. Peace. Are you ready for some chimichangas? Absolutely. Yeah. Right. I'm starving, dude. Joe Yim. Joe Yim. <laughs> You're always starving. Oh, that Jeez. looks so good. Mm -hmm. These are <laughs> yeah. delicious. Amazing. It's so much better than normal, just like braised chicken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so good. Los Calientes Verde. I love that stuff. That's yeah, good. So good. Not too extreme. Yeah. Acidity to balance it out with a fried burrito. <laughs> yeah. It smells like varnish. This is regret reserved. Oh, so it's extremely hot. Oh, so it's so aged so paint. Oh, oh. oh, yeah, that smells awful. That's too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 tongue down. down. <laughs> regret that instantly? <laughs> yeah, all, all the air that's being pulled in is hitting exactly on that spot right now. Yeah. <laughs> not bad, though. It's still not as bad as the bomb. The bomb is the worst. Yeah, one. That's, that one's terrible.